property owners have duties owed to others connected to the maintenance of their property, but the specifics vary depending on whether a person entering the property is a trespasser, licensee, or invitee. Banker v. McLaughlin considers potential liability in a negligence action in which a child drowned after entering a property because he was drawn to a waterhole there. H.F. Banker owned, developed, and marketed a subdivision on a 60-acre tract of land. In 1945, about 50 families lived there, about 40 of which had small children. Banker dug a pit in a wooded area on the property to excavate dirt so he could grade the streets and build roads between the home sites. People could travel through the grass and brush around the pit without any trouble. Some people had picnics in the area. After taking the dirt, Banker had no further use of the pit, but he left it in case it could be used again. It wouldn't have cost much to fill the pit. Instead, Banker let the pit fill with water and remain full for eight or nine months. The pit became a pool between five and eight feet deep at the shallowest point with steep banks. From the surface, it was hard to tell the depth of the water. Banker didn't place any keep-out signs or warning devices around the pit or in the vicinity. Banker also didn't take any steps to keep children from playing near or swimming in the pit. A five-year-old resident of the subdivision had been walking around the neighborhood unattended and drowned in the pit. Other children allegedly told the boy he was too little to swim there. The boy's father, James McLaughlin, sued Banker for negligence and alleged the hole was especially attractive to children. Banker denied this, claimed the boy was a trespasser, and alleged the boy and his father were both contributorily negligent. After a trial, a jury answered 20 special issues in McLaughlin's favor and awarded damages. Banker appealed. The Court of Civil Appeals affirmed the judgment but reduced the damages. Banker appealed. <laughs>